ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Fellas, I know you guys have been waiting for it. We finally have a sports story on the channel. So if you guys don't know the Ball brothers and their father, LeVar Ball, they're definitely going through it. I've been covering them for a while now. So what's going down is that basically LeVar Ball's best friend, confidant, also business partner, is being accused of stealing millions from the big baller brand, okay? So this is what ESPN is reporting. I'm gonna go ahead and read this to you guys. Check this out. So ESPN is saying that Los Angeles Laker guard, Lonzo Ball has severed ties with the co-founder of Big Baller Brand over concerns that the longtime family friend has a criminal past and has not adequately accounted for the whereabouts of roughly $1.5 million from the Ball's personal and business accounts. Ball told ESPN that he believed that Alan Foster, a friend of Lonzo's father for almost a decade who owned 16.3% of the Big Baller Brand, had used his access to my business and personal finances to enrich himself. As a result, I've decided to sever all ties with Alan effective immediately. Foster has served as a business manager of Olive Ball family's companies, including the Big Baller Brand, which was formed as a limited liability company in 2014. Foster developed a close friendship with the Ball family beginning around 2010 when Lonzo and Foster's son became friends as seventh graders. It was Foster, Lonzo's father, LeVar Ball, who said he helped convince me to create a shoe and apparel company featuring three basketball playing sons rather than allow Lonzo to sign one of the guaranteed multi-million dollar endorsement deals that had been offered by more established shoe companies such as Nike and Adidas. According to documents and emails reviewed by ESPN, questions of Foster business decisions and communication were first raised last fall to Lonzo and LeVar Ball by Lonzo's financial advisor. The advisor's name is Humble Lukanga of Lifeline Financial Group. He alleged in an October email that Lonzo's personal taxes and Big Baller's taxes could not be completed on time due to an inability to account for a whereabout of $1.5 million. Sources close to the Ball family told ESPN that Lonzo expressed his concern about Foster to his father several times over the past few months, but deferred to LeVar to manage the situation. It wasn't until this week that the same sources said that LeVar fully reviewed the email warnings and documents from Lukanga as he had been traveling overseas with the younger son in the fall. Sources described LeVar Ball as stunned when the email and the documents were read to him. LeVar has declined to comment, but issued a statement to ESPN calling the situation devastating. Honey. So this entire situation is just really disturbing. On top of that, um, it's also being reported today that there's even more money missing, that he supposedly wired himself over $400,000. This man could eventually owe the Ball family over $2 million. And it's also being noted that this same man was arrested back in 2002. And they're saying that he had a restitution to pay back the victims $3.7 million. I don't know if he ever paid those victims back. I'm not sure. But this situation has gotten even sadder because now if you guys don't know, on social media, all of the Ball brothers, Melo, Jello, and Lonzo, they've all unfollowed LeVar Ball. So I think right now, you know, they're not feeling the situation. They feel like the father's at fault and they're giving the father the side eye. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys these tweets. Go ahead and check this out. So Lonzo posted a caption on his picture that says, moving on to bigger and better, hashtag my own man. He also changed his Twitter profile picture to himself wearing a Nike t-shirt as a baby. On top of that, he also released a statement. He says, this has been a very difficult decision as I had a great deal of love and respect for Alan, but the time has come for me to take responsibility for my own career, both on and off the court. So that's what he said in the most recent interview. And so then after he wrote, moving on to bigger and better, hashtag my own man, Mello, who's the youngest brother, he came on there and he says, love you, brother. Thanks for getting us out, my G, 100. And he had over 20,000 likes to that comment. And then now if you search Big Baller Brand, none of them are following Big Baller Brand. So at the end of the day, this entire situation is just really sad. And I can see how this is going to cause a split in the family where you have the brothers over here and you have the father over there and you have the father in the middle and then you have Alan over here. 
Now, of course, I'm sure LeVar Ball is going to side with his brothers, but I'm sure he's really hurt that somebody he considered a close friend would rob him blind, okay? And I'm glad that Lonzo Ball is now taking his finances seriously and he's becoming his own man. He does not need to depend on his father. You know why? I will always give LeVar Ball props for raising, you know, three strong young men. You know what I'm saying? I'm raising them, keeping them on track. Up until Jello got arrested, none of them had a criminal record. All they did was play basketball. I mean, they are really talented kids. Nobody can take that from them. I don't see Jello going into the NBA like I've told you guys that before, but definitely LaMelo, he's on his way to the NBA. I can see him and Lonzo eventually playing together on the same team or some shit, you know what I mean? But like I said, I feel bad for them, but at the end of the day, can they really cut off their father? I mean, like, let's keep it real now, okay? He still lives at damn home. How are you estranged from your father living in the same damn house, okay? All you gotta do is say, LaMelo, take out the damn trash. Estrange my ass, okay? Yes, that rhyme. So, I mean, I don't see them being estranged from LeVar Ball long, but I do see all three of them not allowing LeVar Ball to speak on their behalf anymore and definitely not to handle their finances. Those boys have worked hard from the time they were babies, busting their ass, putting wear and tear on their joints and everything else in order for them to get to where they are at today. And for some man to just, you know, walk up, dip his hand in their pot, that's bullshit. That $1.5 million was their money and only their money, okay? He was already getting 16.3% of the company and that still wasn't good enough for him. This is somebody who was very close friends with LeVar Ball, so he really didn't want for nothing. Him and his son were able to travel with them, go overseas. He basically basked in the line light, just like LeVar Ball and just like his brothers. But it just shows you how greedy and manipulative some people are. And that's the sad part that some people that you think are your friends, you can't even trust them. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad that Lonzo eventually woke up. I'm glad that he got a separate financial advisor and that financial advisor was on top of everything because if it was not for the financial advisor, this man could have finessed them for years, okay? He could have been taken off the top for years before anybody would have realized that. So the entire situation is insane. This is why a lot of times people say that friends and family and business, they just don't gel. It's better to work with people outside who their only vested interest is the business, is doing their job. Because sometimes friends and family tend to get comfortable and think that you owe them something or that they should get more off the pie. You know what I'm saying? And when they have a personal relationship with you, they don't know how to pull that back and let it just be a business relationship. So I hope that they all learn from this, but this is really sad that they're having to go through this. But but I'm just glad that they were able to, you know, figure this out. But I don't take any joy in this whole situation with them not talking to their father and there being this big rift. The boys definitely have to do what they need to do for themselves. You know, hopefully the family can still come together and try and figure something out. But this entire situation is just really sad all the way around. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning the Ball brothers and Alan Foster basically finessing these young boys in the big baller brand of damn near $2 million. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces.